Hi all, this is Yashika. I am a former SWE intern at Google. So today I'll be sharing about the entire process through which I got an internship offer at Google. So let's start. So starting with the application, I didn't apply for this role to anywhere. The Google recruiter reached out to me through a mail stating that they have an opening for a role which suits my profile. So if I want to give the interviews for the same, I can do. Now the question is how the Google recruiter reached out to me. So the point is. I have been applying to various programs offered by Google since my second year of school. Although I was not able to get through those programs, but this helped me give my resume and my profile to the company. So here is one tip to all of the folks out there. If you are eligible for something, any program or opportunity, do apply over there. No matter how much preparation you have, just apply over there. It first thing it will help you to know what is the preparation level you have. Second thing, it will help you send your resume to the company. Now, if the company has any openings in future which matches your profile, they will definitely reach out to you. So, now in the mail, they gave me a form in which I had to fill out my latest resume, my transcript, and uh, the details about the projects I've worked on. After a week, I got to know that uh, there are two interviews that have been scheduled for me. Each of them are one day after the other. So, I uh, started preparing for that. Now the interview round was a 45 minute round. Uh, I gave a very quick introduction about myself and we just skipped to the coding question. Now in the starting the question that was given to me was a bit uh, vague or kind of incomplete. So I started questioning them about various uh, aspects of the question, various uh, edge cases and we had a 5 to 6 minutes discussion on the question itself. Once I got to know that okay this is uh, the exact question we are thinking of then I started discussing about the solution. First, I gave them a very good course solution, and then we uh, I started optimizing it. At one point, both of us were satisfied that this approach is gonna to solve all the edge cases. For the question, it was a graph-based question. I cannot exactly tell what question it was, but for the difficulty level, it was lead code medium to hard level. I would say. Now, once we completed uh, the solution for the first question. The interviewer gave me the follow-up question approach with the BFS. So we had a healthy discussion about why BFS uh, over BFS. After discussion over that, uh, I started to code out both the solutions. And the interview ended with uh, me asking the interviewer about some questions about the company's culture and everything. Now the second interview, uh, again, this interview was also for 45 minutes. Uh, I gave a very quick introduction and then we skipped to the question. Now here this time the question was pretty much clear but again the question was a graph based question but here we had some mathematical uh, equations involved into it. Anyway the interviewer was very nice she even uh, asked me if I am not able to remember those equations they, she could tell me those equations. Here is a tip for you all if you are also being asked a question which involves some mathematical terms or mathematical equations then you can definitely ask your interviewer if you are not able to recall those equations because they are there to test your TSA knowledge. I am saying this because I have been told this by an interviewer herself. So you can ask the interviewer if I am not able to recall the question too. After getting to know about the question, so I explained her the solution and coded it out. And then I uh, tried run it as well for a given test case. After that, for the same question, she gave me multiple instances. So I gave the solution for all of them one by one and for one of the uh, instance she said she asked me to code out the solution and I coded it up and we still had few minutes left so we were having random discussion about uh, Google itself and then to do it. So yeah finally uh, after a month we got to know that I got selected for the internship. Uh, since most of you will be giving interviews in some company or the other so some tips to help you out in giving the interviews always try to understand the question clearly. Many a times the interviewer will give you an incomplete question. They would want you to communicate with them, to ask questions and clarify what they actually want to ask. So ask as many questions as possible to clearly understand what the question is. I think if you have time, always try to dry run your code with a text case. Whenever you are writing your code, Try to communicate to the interviewer what you are writing and why you are writing. For example, if you are taking a variable count for counting number of XYZ thing, then tell them that I am taking this variable count to count this thing. 
so that they are also aware of what you are writing so try to keep as less silence in the interview as you can so guys this was my uh, experience about google and few tips that i could share with you if you find this video helpful do share it with your friends so that they can also get some uh, learnings from this thanks bye bye